Hi muckers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having the best day ever. Thank you so much for clicking on my YouTube channel and on my video today. And today I'm pissed off. Today I'm pissed off. I am most days, but today especially, because Jenna Marbles and Julian had their house broken into by an alleged stalker. Well, all the, the news sites and Julian and all like that are, you know, saying alleged stalker to protect themselves or whatever, but if you're breaking and entering in someone's house and you've been following them for months, call a spade a spade, you're a stalker. Um, so we're going to be covering this story today and we have this news article to go through. Julian has released a statement. Obviously Jenna has not because Jenna is not in basically the public eye anymore to say. Um, and this is really frustrating as well because if you're aware they had a couple complications with uh, one of the dogs that kind of meant that they weren't able to celebrate their wedding that much because they were dealing with um, one of the sweet dogs um, going through a couple medical things. And the fact that this is their period, Julian talked about this in one of his streams, I don't know if people watch the streams, I do, I love the streams, I love Julian. He was talking about that this is, you know, the period that they're now going to be enjoying the fact that they are married in their married life. So, the fact that someone has been watching them so closely and, first of all, in general, is breaking into their house or whatever like that, um, especially during this period, is so fucking annoying because they were dealing with something that made that they couldn't celebrate their marriage and wedding to the fullest, and now is that period and it was ruined, but... We're going to get to this article, right? And this is a conversation that, that I have on my YouTube channel quite a lot. And it talks about this, like, scary parasocial relationship. And it's very apparent with creators in general. But one thing I talk about, and I don't mean to constantly bring the conversation back to this. But Julian is not even a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer. And Jenna isn't either that actively make their content about their daily life. You know, Jillian streams and, you know, plays games and, you know, we'll give life updates every once in a while. And Jenna Marbles hasn't been on social media in God knows how long. I think like two years. So the conversation in my mind always goes to, and in no way taking away from this, because we're going to get to this in a second, but this is just where my mind goes. My mind goes, this is the conversation we have about people who their entire life is daily vlogging. And daily vlogging is a very scary, slippery slope anyway, and I have daily vlogged, I, I did all of December, and I've done daily vlogs here and there, but you are selective with the locations that you show, and uh, because you are giving people what your routine is every single day, and then the conversation goes even further to family channels. Oh yeah, Adam's talking about family channels again, hear me out. This is why we talk about the dangers of families and these mommy vloggers, and there also are like dad vloggers as well, like Strictly, um, who are showing their children's lives, children's routine, routines every single day, showing what parks the children go to, showing, you know, the areas of the schools that the children go to, or showing the layout of their house, knowing, then allowing the audience to know which room their children are sleeping in. This is... You know, if this is happening to creators, if there's crazy enough people out there that are breaking into creators' houses based on stalking them by not knowing that much about their lives, the fact that people, creators, aren't then putting that in their own lives and choosing to put themselves, but more importantly, their children at risk, is terrifying because there's crazy enough people out there that are willing to break into someone's house who they don't know every single thing that they do, so you can't even imagine the crazy people that are out there taking the information of knowing you and your children's everyday routine. And this is why whenever I heard this story, my mind was immediately like, are Jenna and Jillian okay? Were things in their property ruined? Like, are they safe? what happened to the person who did it, then my mind went to, because it always does, is this going to be the wake-up call for people that there are scary people out there and you're putting yourself, but more importantly, your children in danger by letting them know your everyday location, your everyday routine, the layout of your house? Because again, if there's people willing to do it when they don't know an awful lot about creators, whenever they know a lot about creators, there's probably even scarier people out there. Sorry, I didn't mean to derail the conversation, but just my mind always goes to, hmm, how can I call out family vloggers? Alright, Jenna Marbles and Jillian Salamita's house broken into by stalker after months of harassment. This is an article by Pop Buzz. Jillian Salamita revealed that he sprayed the stalker with pepper spray as soon as they entered the house. And I was seeing so many people on Twitter, the most brain-dead social media anyway, I was seeing so, especially of recent, thanks Elon, I was seeing so many people on Twitter be like, Oh, like, legally he can't do that, or even morally he can't do that. 
pepper spray someone who broke into the let me tell you something if someone broke into my apartment and it was just me i would do worse than them out of fear out of fear i'm sorry i don't know the fucking legalities or moralities or whatever whatever fuck that in that moment I'm protecting my animals first, and then I'm protecting myself. I don't give a shit. I don't know where my mind would go. Whenever someone breaks in, I would be terrified. And Julian is going to come at this from the point of view of protecting his new bride, and also himself, and also the dogs. So, fuck all the people out there that be like, morally, is it correct for him to pepper spray? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Um, pepper spray as soon as they entered the house. A stalker has been arrested after breaking into Jenna Marbles and Julian's house following months of harassment. Yesterday, January 2nd, so it's the 3rd as I'm filming this, so yesterday it was Monday. That is how time works, Adam. Good job. Julian revealed that a stalker had broken into his and Jenna's house. T taking to Instagram stories, Julian posted a statement in which he opened up about the situation and told fans that both he and Jenna are safe, which is good to know. He also explained that he sprayed the stalker with pepper spray as soon as he realized that she had entered their home. Not only that, but Julian explained that he only went public with the story because a media outlet was planning on covering it. I, I don't want to speculate, but I would assume that that media outlet would probably be something like you know one of those, like, news-breaking sites like TMZ or something like that? Actually, I wonder if TMZ have written about this, because it might be TM. I don't know, but I'm just saying, Jenna Marbles, TMZ. Jenna Marbles, husband, yeah, okay, so TMZ have written about this. Confrontation at family home. Yeah, I would assume, just, I don't know, but I would assume that the person that was going to leak the article would probably be TMZ. I have no proof of that. I just think that that's something that TMZ would do. And it's really annoying as well that whenever something like that happens, they're almost like pressured into releasing a statement because someone else would. So here we see both of them. All right, so Julian wrote what happened, and here we have it. So uh, we have Popgrave tweeted, Jenna Marble's house was broken into by a stalker who's been harassing her and her husband for two months. So here we have Julian's story. I'm going to read it to you. <clears throat> Today, someone broke into our house. A woman that we don't know entered our home unannounced. Upon her entering our back door, I immediately subdued her with OC slash pepper spray and was able to lock her out. I called the police and she was arrested and taken away immediately. Jenna, the dogs, and myself are all safe. While this person is a complete stranger to me, they have been harassing me at my home throughout the last two months. This was something that for our safety reasons, I was doing my best to keep offline, but we were notified that a media outlet had informed on today, or was, you know, informed on today's incident, and they were planning on running a story, so I wanted you to hear from me what happened first. So again, the news comes after only a couple weeks ago, actually like a week or two ago at max, they shared that they had uh, gotten married. As it stands, Jen has yet to comment on the situation. We'll update you if she does. <laughs> Good luck with that one. So here's my thing. I think this topic really does go back to parasocial relationships and people, listen, 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 listen. I have so many parasocial relationships with creators, with celebrities, it's insane. It is insane. But never once would I ever allow myself to, to think that that allows me access to them or allows me access to their, to walk into their house, go up the stairs, open the door, even test and see if the door's open, and entering. And here's my, my thing with this. It's like so fucking creepy and scary. So this woman had entered their house. What is the, the, the motive, right? So Jen, or Jen and Jillian didn't say that they had any weapons on them, as in the person or whatever like that. I mean, let me quickly look at this TMZ article because normally they would say if there was any weapons. No, it... It doesn't mention the pepper spray, maybe the least of the woman's uh, concerns. Our sources say, yeah, our sources. So I would assume that that was TMZ. Say once she's released from hospital, she'll be taken to jail and, you know, booked for felony stalking. All right, okay, so it doesn't say that there was any weapons on her at all. The woman has been taken to a hospital, la 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 la, Julian pepper sprayed her twice. Okay, so say she didn't have any weapons on her and she was just entering. What does she want to do? Like, she thinks that that's the, 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 the most wholesome, best way that she would be able to meet Jen and Jillian, meet the dogs, who would be terrified of a stranger entering the same way Jen and Jillian would be. Like, how fucking crazy, deranged 
do you have to be to think that that is a way that your favorite creator, your favorite celebrity or whatever would want to meet you? Like entering your house. And so what I want to ask you guys, because I have no idea, is what is what is the end goal? Is the end goal that you swim them over? You know, they may be scared of you at first, but you swim them over and they, they, they take you under their wing and they want to be your best friend. Is that the end? Because if you have like no weapons and you're not like, you know what I mean, like that side of things, you just want to go in for like a cup of tea or... It's so fucking creepy and so scary. Muckers, let me know your opinion of this. I mean, I think there should just be one opinion of this, that it's fucking terrifying. Uh, we'll talk below. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.